and today we're taking a look at how to open a can without a can opener. This is so easy, anyone could do. Everything that we use on the video, we're gonna leave a link on the description. And today we're gonna open this can different ways. We're gonna use a knife, big and small, a butter knife, a cleaver knife, a spoon, and sometimes we forget that a multi-tool knife has a can opener. So you got the can and you notice it's not one of the cans with the pull tab. Don't worry, today we're gonna open this baby up. So the first thing that we're gonna use is a knife because this is something that can be mostly found in any kitchen or pocket, but don't worry. The technique that we're gonna use is gonna work with mostly everything that has a point on it or a small surface area. So the first thing that you wanna do is get your utensil and place it on the outer line of the can. Always remember that safety is the number one thing because the last thing you want is to die before eating. When using a big knife, what we wanna use is the technique where we hold the knife at the bottom closest to the can, having our fingers away from the sharp edges and holding it on the flat side. Then the second thing that we wanna do is make a hole in the can. And we do that by giving a medium tap on the handle of the knife. Remember, if you have to use a little bit of strength for the tap, you can go ahead and do that. Remember, they don't call you Hulk for no reason. Then to finally open the can, what you wanna use is a rocking motion and you can help the knife out by turning the can at the same time or just creating pressure going around the can as you rock the knife. If you're using a small knife because it's closer to the can, you can have a firm grip on the handle of the knife. And like that, it's gonna be safer where you don't have to hold the blade. Then you go ahead and give it a tap. And to open the can, you use the same rocking motion. If you're using a cleaver knife, then it can be a lot safer because you're only gonna use the corner of the knife to open it. And basically, you're gonna use the same rocking motion but pressing down to make the initial hole. And the great thing about the cleaver knife, the weight of the cleaver is gonna help you just by pushing the opening, it's gonna open more. Then the only thing you have to do is just keep pushing the opening and it's gonna get wider and wider until you finally have the can open. But let's say you don't feel like Rambo and you don't wanna use a sharp knife, then we can use a butter knife. And basically it's the same technique. We place the knife on the outer line, hold it from the handle and then give it a tap. But let's say you don't have a knife or you feel safer using a spoon, then don't worry, we got the answer for you. And we're gonna use again the rocking motion. We're gonna move the spoon back and forth in one spot until we make a indentation. And that's basically gonna create a soft spot. Once we fill the indentation, we can go ahead and start pressing down. And with force, it's gonna go through. So as you can see, by using the same technique, you basically can use any tool and even a key if you're willing to use a little bit of force and an extra bit of time. But let's say you just remember you have a multi-tool knife or a Swiss Army knife. Remember, there's a can opener on it as well. And that's the hook style with the flat in the front. And basically is the same technique. Place it on the outer line, create some force downward to make the initial hole, and then rock yourself to tuna heaven. Now that you've mastered the ancient technique of tuna can opening, here at the Statabox team, we certify you as a tuna can boss. Don't forget, if you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up. That really helps. If you have any questions, place them in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe, follow us on social media. Thank you for watching and here's a link to our latest video.